Hello and welcome to Miller Realty Group's Talk of the Town, Carolinas. I'm your host, Patty Mercer, along with... I'm Michelle Moyer with Southeast Mortgage. And today we're talking about mortgages. mortgages. Wow, when it comes to buying a house, one thing is for sure, you gotta have a mortgage or a way to pay for your home. Uh, Michelle Moyer, you're with Southeast Mortgage. Uh, what can you tell us about right now, currently, going on in the market? Now is the time to buy a home. Oh, really? <laughs> well, there you go. Interest rates are down, which we didn't really think was gonna happen. Yes. Still historically low expected to eventually go back up so now is definitely the time to buy a home but what happens if they go up say half a point how does that impact what you're able to afford so we look at what what we're going to be at what we're expected to be at a year from now and if you look it's interesting to see every three months as rates start to climb you can afford less home also with homes appreciating that same house is going to cost more a year from now so you're looking at one of two scenarios. You've either priced yourself out of a home that you can afford today, or if you go and buy that same home a year from now, you're looking at a much higher payment. And when they're at a really good place, can you lock into that? Absolutely. All right, for how long? We have locks all the way up to a year. Oh, that right New there. New construction. That's so. fantastic. Yeah. It's like, <sighs> I can breathe. <laughs> yes, okay. absolutely. Do you, have, do you get a mortgage officer first, or do you find a home first, a realtor first? What is the... I guess the right way of buying a home. A lot of people go and find the realtor in the home first, but it really shouldn't be that way. You need to know what you can afford. You need to know what your monthly payments are going to be, what you're comfortable with. Make sure that you have the funds available to close. You know what options are available for you before you find the home. If you go ahead and buy at the very top end of what you are told you can afford, what have you seen happen in the long run? Um, I personally did that in my early 20s and now I am very particular about telling people what is your monthly budget I ask them and let's talk about that and what you can afford with that. I don't like telling people their max because a lot of times it's really not what they can afford. Right. Um, when we look at overall qualifications, we're looking at your income versus what's on your credit report. We're not taking into consideration childcare. You may be helping family members out what it costs you for groceries, eating out, your lifestyle choices. So it's good to have those conversations and see what you're comfortable with. We all have heard that story. You think everything's good to go with your closing. You get there and it doesn't happen because of one unforeseen glitch. How do you avoid that? And what causes those glitches to even happen in the first place? Luckily, I've never had it happen to oh, me, not yes. to sound braggy. Um, but I think the biggest reason is I have a conversation with my buyers in the beginning and I tell them I need to know everything. I can't fix what I don't know is broken. Um, you know, I ask them where the money's coming from. I ask them how long it's been there. Um, you know, how long have you been on your job? How many other jobs have you had? Do you plan on quitting or buying a car or financing furniture? Um, I also have conversations about those kind of things throughout the process and make sure they know they can't do it or they won't close. Right. Are there some misconceptions when it comes to buying a house? A lot of people think they can't. They think they have to have an 800 credit score, 20% to put down, and that's not the case. Okay. Um, I talk to people every day. I say, call me. Let's have a conversation. You might be two years out, but let's get you prepared. And nine times out of ten, they're a lot closer than they think they are. They don't realize that there are down payment assistance programs i mean i'm like you said with southeast mortgage we have 100 percent financing available not every lender has that so you may not even need money to put down i've had people get seller paid closing costs and do a 100 percent financing program and come to the table with nothing that's encouraging tell me about um what we need to do now maybe you're renting maybe you're thinking hey renting is the way to go is it the way to go if it's your long-term goal is to buy a house? It's not. Even people who tell me, I'm only going to be in the area for three or four years, it just doesn't make sense for me. When we sit down and do rent versus own analyzers and we look at the money that you're not spending on somebody else's mortgage and investing into them, you're investing into yourself. Um, if you look at even three years, the money that you've paid down on your mortgage, the home appreciating, the tax benefits, and a lot of times you can get a mortgage for less than what you're renting for a comparable home or even larger. Um, I've seen people where we look at it and their net worth will be $30,000, $40,000 more 
if they buy a home and it just makes wow. sense. I think it's just important that you have a good lender and you have a good realtor that are gonna hold your hand through the process and that's true whether you're buying your first home or your 10th. Is there anything that you wanna tell me that I haven't asked? I mean, I think it's just important to pick up the phone and make the call. Um, we would be happy to talk to anybody who wants to explore the options. If now is not the time for you, we can put you on a game plan and figure out how to get you there. Well, that's it for this edition of Miller Realty Group's Talk of the Town Carolinas. Hey, if you're thinking of buying or selling your home, remember to call Carmen or go to homesfortmill.com and check out past episodes of Talk of the Town Carolinas. Until next time, I'm Patty Mercer. Bye-bye.